Hey everyone, welcome back to Amen, Amen, I Say to You. I'm John Paul Cashmere. Today we'll be praying the Chaplet of Mary Magdalene. This is Mary Magdalene, often depicted with a cross because she was at the foot of the cross while Christ suffered. <laughs> she was very close with Jesus, we know. Patron saint of women, penitent women, prostitutes, etc. Although she probably wasn't really a prostitute. This is her chaplet, a small ring of 10 beads with a rose centerpiece, three other beads, and a Mary Magdalene medal. So we'll begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. On the medal, we say, St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, help me to recognize my sins so that I may seek forgiveness and that I too may be exercised by him. Pray for me so that I too may be closer to Jesus and love him as my divine savior. Mention your petitions here if you have them. So that they too may see our Lord Jesus Christ and see forgiveness. Seek forgiveness for their sins so that they too may always seek the Lord and follow him. Help us to preserve to the end so that we help us to persevere to the end so that we may be saved. On the first bead, we say an act of contrition. Oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended you and I detest all of my sins because of your just punishment, but most of all because they have offended you, my God, who are all good and deserving of all of my love. I firmly resolve with the help of your grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, on the first bead. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, our Lord, cured you of evil spirits and ailments. Pray that we may be delivered from evil. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second bead. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, our Lord, forgave you for all your sins. Pray that we may truly seek forgiveness for our sins. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, you were so filled with sorrow and remorse over your sins that you anointed Christ's feet with perfumed oil. Pray that our remorse for our sins may be a sweet fragrance to our Lord. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, you wept at the foot of the cross as your tears fell upon his feet. You kissed and wiped his feet with your hair. Pray that our tears of sorrow will fall upon the feet of Jesus and that our Lord will wipe away our sins. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, you stood at the foot of the cross and saw our Lord Jesus Christ being crucified to his death. Pray that we may recognize and witness to, other, to others that Jesus did this for us. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh my, oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, you saw his lifeless body taken from the cross and placed in his mother's arms. Pray that our blessed mother will hold us at the hour of our death in her arms. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, lead us, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. <laughs> Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, you saw him being placed in the tomb. 
When we die, pray that we may be buried on sanctified ground. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, when you went back to the tomb and did not find the Lord's body, you thought it had been taken away. Pray that our souls are not taken to hell. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, and especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, you stood outside the tomb weeping. Pray for our family, relatives, and loved ones so that they may be consoled and comforted when we die. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, friend and follower of Jesus, upon seeing our risen Lord from the dead, you were overwhelmed and filled with joy. Pray that we too may see the risen Lord and that our final resting place will be in heaven with God the Father. Lord, help me to examine my conscience as I pray. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for the chaplet of St. Mary Magdalene. This can be prayed any day, but especially on her feast day, July 22nd. Thanks for joining me on Amen, Amen, I say to you. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. God bless.